The Napa Sonoma Marsh encompasses approximately 17,000 acres of wildlife habitat in which we have approximately 9,000 acres of salt ponds that we're in the currently restoring back to tidal habitat. Back in the 1800s, market hunters from San Francisco used the Napa Sonoma Marshes area as a place for harvesting ducks and waterfowl for food sources for the restaurants and folks of San Francisco. Leslie Salt came in in the early 1950s. Um, they started building up the levees around these islands so they would hold water. And they would bring water into the first pond and then they would pump it to the second pond and then they'd bring up the water levels continuing to move water from one pond to the next and as the ponds moved in a northerly direction up to this area the water would become increasingly salty due to evaporation from the sun and the wind then it was pumped underneath the Napa River over to the other side of the Napa River to the Napa plant site where it was completely dried out and then the salt would be harvested. There were a lot more waterfowl here before the salt ponds were created. Well, the white stuff is salt. You can even hear it as you walk up here. You know, you asked earlier, how salty is it? Well, the ground's crunchy. <laughs> That's how salty it is. Pond seven has so much salt in it that the bottom of it is basically uh, feels like it has stucco on it. When I came out here with the uh, fishing game to collect some core samples, we actually broke the head off the core sampler trying to get through the bottom. <laughs> so not only is there salt in the water, there's just unbelievable amounts of residual salt in the crust and in the soil as well. Um, so these peg the meter. Fish live in salt water and fish do live in some fairly hypersaline environments. But to give you an idea, you know, even the saltiest fish for seawater may be in the 40 parts per thousand range. Uh, these all go off of any measurable scale for salinity. They're very large and there's just really not a whole lot of life going on here in, in its current form.